Hi everyone, I'm Naduri and today we have a package opening. So I've got two little things to open uh, for my journey into the world of collecting K-pop. Um, so I've been into K-pop for a little while. I'll be putting up another video um, explaining um, how I kind of have moved through stages of enjoying K-pop and obviously like other idols like Love Life and anime and that sort of thing. So keep an eye out for that video as well. Um, but for today, um, this video might be spliced up into a few different videos. We'll just see how much uh, footage we have to play with and um, we'll go from there. So first I'm going to open up this uh, trade. Um, so it's been really awesome. Um, obviously what's been happening with the world, it's been a little bit difficult to get things from other countries and, and other states just because of shipping. So I'm just going to very gently cut here. And we're gonna see who's inside. Um, I have permission from all the people that have sent parcels and packages and things that I'm allowed to read these on camera, so. Okay, so they've wrapped it up really nicely. Oh, I love this washi tape. It's really gritty. So I'm gonna slip here. I actually need to get some more top loads myself as I've run out um, with doing the trades. We'll go from there and I'm gonna just take this one off here and they've included a little note in the back saying thank you for trading with me with some cute little stamps so thank you so much so let's dive into this and see the trade oh I remember what this one is now I remember why it's in such a big top letter too so I did a lot of cross trading um, as I mentioned before I'm very new to collecting k-pop or have gotten back into collecting K-pop. So I didn't really have lots for trade. And originally when I started trading, so I was originally trying to get the equivalent for my biases and I wasn't getting a lot of trade. So I just decided, you know what? Here's my wish list. And if people have stuff on my wish list, then I will trade. It's very tight, but go. So I'm just gonna put that over there. But yeah, so I'm really excited about this one. So I actually did trade for the card that's on top, but I knew it was thicker. So I figured there was a freebie in the back, which I was right. So I tra traded for the Dark World Jin. So um, in BTS, my biases are Jin and J-Hope. And then they gave me this really pretty one as well. And I'm very thankful for anything extra because people don't have to put things in there and then this is the one I was super excited about so let's get this one out so just very carefully with all the washi tape I don't want to damage it um, so this one is gonna be actually my first uh, bigger photo card thing in the bob like I've gotten postcards and stuff before in albums just there we go so if you're watching this thank you very much for trading with me I really appreciate it and he is now free so this is um, I believe the photo card from wings I, as I said, if I get anything wrong, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, this is Jin and he looks amazing. I love these bigger ones so you can kind of see the difference between the regular photo cards and the larger ones. You know, or like Polaroid-esque ones, so I'm really happy about that. Um, but the main piece that we're opening today that I'm super excited about is I decided to uh, spend some money <laughs> and go on to buy so I have this big package here so um, as we go through this I'll kind of explain why I purchased certain items and about my groups that I collect um, so I hope you enjoy so I'm gonna take that off because you can't see my address anymore um, so with buy I really liked the service I thought it was really good it was very easy to use for someone that hasn't used a proxy service in a very long time. Um, 
Yeah, so for someone that hasn't used a proctor surface in a long time, I found it really easy to use. Um, the only problem was, um, at the moment, many countries, uh, Japan included, um, are basically only shipping by DHL, which is fine because it means it gets here super quick, but it's very expensive. So the reason why I ended up still doing an order despite the cost was for the fact that they had a promotion going where international shipping was 100% free. I say that in air quotes because yes, the majority of the postage was free. I still had to pay GST obviously, and I still had to pay packing fees and consolidation fees. So it still cost me like $30 Australian, but that was without the actual shipping cost. So. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. Um, I believe most of the front parcels addresses you'll see is the YU warehouse, so I'm not going to cover them, but I'm going to try and not show off the back just in case they have their addresses on the back for the people that actually sent them. Actual, oh, this is exciting. Oh, I'm excited because it's like actual like proper mail and not just like, here's all your stuff. So. As I said, the top, okay, I'm going to flip that one over because I'm not too sure, but you can see very poorly because of how I've got my camera, it's parcels, 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 so I'm going to take these out, oh I'm excited, actually I should have left that in there, <laughs> as you can see these are quite big parcels, um, I said for this one just on the top that's flat but um yeah a lot of these will be albums because I want to expand obviously my album collection and um when you can go on to Macari and other websites like eBay and stuff usually people show what inclusions they include so I was able to pick and choose what I wanted so we're going to start with this small one and I'm going to cut across the top here look. oh I think I know what this one is Yes, so <laughs> I'm going to just cover it for a second and explain the story. So I'm silly and I originally was only planning to collect one girl group, which was Blackpink. And then I fell in love with all the Twice cards. I do really like their music as well. And I fell in love with the Japanese exclusive, exclusive set <laughs> of their ID cards. So I actually have from Zen Market as well, which I bought before this package, but they took forever to ship and it's now finally on the way here. The hashtag twice album, which came with these ones, um, brand new and sealed, so I can actually open it and experience trying to get one of these ones for myself. But I managed to find a three set, which was amazing. And it was quite funny too, because um, in the set it actually had my bias for twice so i will show you my bias my bias is actually sana so i'm going to take these out of the little package but yeah so i'm collecting sana and momo for twice and i know like a lot of people don't like id cards i love them and especially because it's like pink and really really pretty i really want to focus that well i'm sorry so i've got sana which is pretty, and they're actually a pretty nice, like plasticky kind of quality too, which I like. And then I got, now again, I apologize if I say anything's wrong, I'm learning the groups and I'm trying to get better. Oh, this one actually just had a pocket, so I'll keep that. So, I have her. I wanna say it's, Cheese to you, but I don't think it is. I'm not very good at pronouncing. And then I have Daihan. She looks really cute in this one too. So yeah, just try and bring it a bit closer so you can see better. Unfortunately, I think where the lighting is, it's really not wanting to focus, but I got those three. So I'm super excited about those. I'm planning to collect OT9 for the ID set, so I'll be keeping all these. So we're gonna go with this one next. They've actually only got the address on the back, so you guys don't have to worry about that. 
Alright, and then I'm gonna open up this one. So this one is the Mamma Mia album. So I actually own this album. This was one of the first uh, albums I bought getting back into K-pop. I bought it earlier this year when I went to my local K-pop story in the city. So I really like this album. I think it's a, a great album. But the reason I bought this was it came with a uh, Youngbin ticket and photo card and I collect Insung and Youngbin. In my glasses for um, SF9, and I really like SF9, especially oh, Summer Breeze, totally great song. But yeah, and this, together with the inclusion, obviously before the Macari fees, was only like $8.50 Australian, which is ridiculous because I bought this album like full price at like 40 bucks Australian. So <laughs> I'm like, you know what, I'm just probably going to sell this album off. I have the ticket of another member I can't remember off the top of my head who it is so I'll probably include it when I sell this album yeah so if you're not sure what it looks like inside this is what it looks like and yeah it's a really nice photo album yeah so it's a really really pretty album I, I quite like it so yeah um, it didn't come with its postcard which is fine because I actually pulled young bin in my original one um, and you'll see in another package why I wasn't too stressed about insults. So yeah, so I got his ticket card and his photo card, which I really like. I love the blue hair, though I feel that the red hair is a lot nicer that he has currently in the current comeback. Okay, we're going to move on to the second parcel. So this one's a bit heavier. So I'm curious at which one this is. I have a feeling I know which one it is. I'm like doing the old like Christmas trick like when you used to sit in front of your presents and like feel around and shake what it is. But I'm pretty sure this is my other SF9 one I bought. And I am right. One point to me. Alright, so the reason why I wasn't worried about getting in songs postcard with the last one is I actually end up getting this double pack of the Osol Mio album um, and the well that's the third mini album of the Knights of the Sun but then I also got the special edition of Mamma Mia which I actually didn't know existed until I was on Makari looking up the different albums and stuff I could buy on there and I thought, well, I might as well get both. I plan to get at least one version of every album that um, my groups that I stand. But at the moment, obviously, I am a casual paper collector. I'll probably mention this in the other video as well, which means I don't go crazy getting everything at once. I'm, I like to collect very slowly. Um, and that's how I enjoy collecting. So it will probably take me a long time. But at the moment, I'm happy with what I'm doing. It's actually weird, like, I was expecting it to kind of be like, hang on, I'll move the photo card so that I don't accidentally get stuck on washi tape. So like, that's the regular edition and then that's the special edition. So if I move back a little bit, you can see that the special edition is actually larger, but it's more like, booky, where I feel this is more like a DVD kind of size. So as you can see, this is more like book-like. Um, but the reason I got this set was, so all the photo cards sticking out there. I got the Insung uh, postcard. So I'm super happy about that. So I'm planning to use these postcards as like dividers in my album to show like who's the next bias you're moving on to. So I as I said, I already have Young Bins and I got this one in the set. Now this was also a crazy good price. I don't know why SF9 stuff is like a really good price on there. So I also got the ticket. So I don't have to worry about getting the other ticket. And then I got the special edition uh, photo card, which came from the special edition Mamma Mia version. 
So now I just have to hunt down his normal version and Young Bin's special version. And then Mamma Mia is complete for me. And then obviously with Knights of the Rising Sun album, I got his circle disc, which is going to be super hard to see. So I'm going to have to use my hand. His circle card, which is really pretty. And then I got his bigger card. So I'm sort of trying to still work out how to um, create my binder for these guys because as you can see, they come with so many different shaped items. Like they're not all just your standard photo card size. So that's gonna be interesting how to display that. But I got those as well. And these two albums together plus the inclusions was $12 Australian, which is ridiculous. So obviously I snapped that up. So with this one is the little dust cover. So when you um, obviously it comes with the album which is fantastic and then the photo book so I might do a photo book walkthrough another time it's really hard for me to show you the photo books without doing like super awkward angles so we'll do another one another time and then it's this one so I'm gonna have a quick oh this one's not too bad I can probably show you like some of the pages because this is a bit easier to do and then it has obviously the CD in the back which I don't like when they do this because the CD slides around and I'm worried about the CD getting scratched and then obviously it has lyrics in between so yeah so I got that one then I got so here we have this one here it's actually in like a cardboardy kind of thing so I also tested when I bought stuff from Macari as well about using the different plans that they have. So if you've been on there before, there's like a light plan, which is like no extra yen. Then there's like an inspection plan. Then there's like a um, insurance one. So I actually got these with all different ones and it didn't really seem to affect anything. So I think if I'm gonna buy next time, I might be a bit of a cheapskate <laughs> and save my yen and money and just get the light plan and then use that extra money for the service fees that you have to pay. So yeah, and I am mangling this box. Ah. So this one I found going back onto the twice train was not completed. So I obviously don't get the photo cards of this one, but they came with the postcards that I wanted to use the same way I want to use these ones as like bias dividers. So um, yeah, I ended up finding this. I hadn't really seen it around before. Um, so it's the Juju Island edition, twice seen. And so um, it's a really nice box that it comes in. So I'm by the weight of it, I'm pretty sure the photo book magazine thing is in it as well, but it didn't really specify in the listing. It could be just really heavy postcards because there's one for each member. I plan only to use the Momo and Sana one. So there's a better look without the wrap on it. But so I might sell the other ones off. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Okay, I'm just gonna pop that there. I'm also planning to use this as my box to store all my photo cards and stuff because it's quite big which means all the different sizes can go in here so oh they're a lot bigger than I thought they would be which is perfect I really wanted them to be this size so we'll go through them so we have Nayan this is a really really pretty set I really like this set then we have Xiaoyang and as I said I'm really sorry if I pronounce anyone wrong. I'm learning. I don't speak Korean. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping I'm not doing a bad job. Then we have Momo. So this one I just really love. I think she just looks super cute in this one. I hope it wasn't going to rain or anything because it looks like she's trying to hide from the rain. Then we have Sana, which I fell in love with because she has a giant pineapple floaty. Um, and my fiance loves pineapples. So like this one would just... I just thought it was really special. 
And then we have Jiho. So that one, that'll come a bit closer for that one. But yeah, they're, they're almost like A4 size, which I love. Then we have Mina. Mina is my bias wrecker for twice. Um, she was very close to being collected. I flipped between Sana and Momo a lot, and then Mina came into the mix occasionally too. So I may keep Mina's. And then we have Daihan. I actually really like her with the blonde hair. I think it looks really, really pretty on her. Shea mm. Young. Okay, in her little beach tail. And then, see you. Oh, she looks so happy and cute. Love it. Yeah, so it came with these ones, and then on the back, they all are the same. We have this. So, I was really happy this was included as well. So again, this was only like $11 Australian that I got the postcards and this. Obviously it doesn't have the photo cards, like I'll have a quick flip through, no. But it is a stunning photo book. So like, as you can see here, like it's just a photo shoot of the same style. They obviously gone like on a little trip. Um, again, I'll do a walkthrough of my albums and stuff at another time. Like it's just so pretty. I love it. I'm pretty sure um, there are the photos that they use on Sana. Yay! <laughs> My brain just got distracted with beauty. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the postcards are one of the shots in here. And it's a pretty thick book. And it's literally just photos. So I'm really excited about this. So... Now that I know that's here, maybe I might have to use a different box <laughs> to store my K-pop stuff in when I'm not putting it in my binder. Okay, we're gonna move on to, I think this one now. So there's two items left. They're roughly the same size, so I cannot guess what's in each of them. I'm not a... I wouldn't be able to guess what's in either of them, so. So this one is also another twice thing, so I know what the last one is now. Um, this I bought because I end up watching the Just Another K-pop channel and she got one of these and I didn't know they existed again and I fell in love with it. So I hunted for Sanas and I couldn't find Sanas. So I end up um, getting Momos and it doesn't come with any photo cards because um, as soon as you flip over and see what it is, as soon as I flip it over and you see what I have, like you'll understand the photo cards are like ridiculously expensive for the set, which I love all of them, which is going to drive me crazy. But this one also came with a little badge because it didn't have any photo cards. So that was really cute. So I'll probably put the badge on my little shelf that I have. The picture actually had a badge that, oh no, it's the same one. I, I thought it didn't have her name on it. And so this is the twice, twice like Japan Momo badge. And it has her little name on it, which is really cute. I loved the whole like pajama party concept. I thought it was so pretty. So we have that and then we have the book. I really like how they package this because the front of it is um, like one of those changing pictures. I think they're called lentic lenticulars. I'm not too sure. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have a look at there. Yeah, so we have Momo. Ah, uh, she's slaying it. So good. But yeah, um, yeah, it's just a, a gorgeous photo book. I just really wanted to have the photos. But it also came with the DVD. So I'll be very interested to see what's on that. Because on the back it doesn't tell you, it just has the oops. Just has the twice lights um, logo on there. Um, but I like this one actually. You can spread the pages pretty wide. I find a lot of the photo books that come with albums uh, are very stiff. So like if you're worried about like breaking them this one actually feels quite nice 
but yeah, I just, I fell in love with Kasana in her pajamas. I love it so much. And then they've also got the shoot beforehand, which is the more sexy kind of look that they're going for. So that's Sana's. Um, yeah, and so obviously they use those for the front and I like that it does have Momo's name on the side. So I was very happy to find this at a good price. A lot of these I found on there, like didn't come with photo cards and they were still really expensive where for some reason Momo's wasn't as expensive. I think they said there was like scratches or something on it. Oh yeah, I can kind of see it now. So like there's actually a scratch. There you go right there but like when you look at it most of the time like it doesn't affect the picture movement and it's really not that noticeable so I'm fine with that I just wanted the photos inside because I love them I love them all right we're gonna go to the last one which wasn't was, is another girl group that's not Blackpink so I now collect three girl groups but I fell in love with the music I heard uh, screen and I'm like oh my god these remind me of like a k-pop version of Evanescence so if you're as old as I am you might remember Evanescence <laughs> and I just thought that they were amazing and I love pretty much every one of their songs that they've released um they've included a little note so I'm guessing that's like a little thank you um yeah so I bought the Dreamcatchers album I think it's called Dystopian of the Tree of Harmony. Of the Tree of Language, sorry. And I got the L version. Um, I found Dreamcatcher stuff on Makari was kind of a hit and miss. It would be either ridiculously expensive or it would be like a decent price. So this one was a decent price. And I don't know why that's there, but there's... I think that has the um, name of the uh, of my bias in there. So, yeah. So, I got the L version. And I just love their packaging. I watch a lot of box openings. And I just thought, it's so pretty. So, there's my bias. That's who I collect for Dreamcatcher. Oh, wow. She looks so pretty. So, Yu Yen is her name. And I got this particular one because it came with two of her uh, PCs and the backs are just really pretty too. I love how they just do a lot of their designs for their backs. And then it also came with her standee. So I'm I'm in two minds about standees. I don't hate them, but I don't particularly care for them either. So if it came with it, I'm like, okay, awesome. So I'll probably use that as her divider for now. And then, so you just lift it out of the little box thing. And then you open this part to get the CD, which I quite like that the CD and the photo book are separate because I don't know if I just want to look at the photo book, I don't want to have to worry about damaging the CD or it's going flying or whatever. And then yeah, so then we got the Dreamcatcher book as well. And yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I love her with the blonde hair. Okay, but see how this one, like it doesn't have as much give to open. So I'm worried about like breaking it. So I gotta be a bit careful with showing these ones. Um, yeah. And just like the photos are just absolutely stunning. Yeah, so that should be Dami. Yeah. And it look. I love anything that uses this sort of cellophane stuff. Um, Stella Chu is a cosplayer fellow. She used this kind of material to make Ari's Tales from League of Legends and it looks amazing. So that's what I, I get that vibe from that particular photo shoot. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. Um, so that's all I got for today. So I can do a quick video showing you everything laying down and um, I'll wrap it up then. So here's a close up of everything we got in today's haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed um, making it. 
it was a lot of fun and I hope to do more K-pop related content on this channel. So please keep your eyes out for that. Um, stay safe and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Hi everyone. Um, so this is the second part of my haul update for August, I would like to say. Um, technically everything I did buy was in July, but I'm receiving it now. So I'm just calling it the August update. Um, I have a few trades in today and a parcel from Zen Market. So the trades I have opened, obviously, because I received them earlier in the week, but I was waiting for my Zen Market parcel to arrive before um, filming this video. So um, I had to check, obviously, to make sure the trades were okay and safe. Um, but I haven't actually looked at really the card at all. I kind of just went, yep, it's in there, and then closed it. So first of all, we have this card. Um, she did a really pretty job, like, doing, like, a little thank you. Oh, no, it was super cute. And she has decorated the card ever so beautifully. Look at that. Look how cute with all the like little washi tape. And it says thank you. So I believe um, this trade was for um, my Kihan Monster X card. I've decided I'm not collecting Mon Monster X. So I'm just keeping the um all about love album the english version just because i do like the album still and i traded away the photo cards for cards that i wanted so in here um she says you can see that hi thank you so much for trading with me i hope hobie gets to you soon and safely stay safe and i wish you and your family well and that was from audrey so here down her bottom here is her Instagram handle. And she did a really good job with these ones. So I've been very lucky with the trades I've received so far that um, everyone has done a really nice job at making sure that they arrive safely. So I'm just gonna get this here to put the washi tape on too. And like, everyone's making me jealous of my washi tape game. <laughs> they always have such nice washi tape. And she's included some freebies as well, I can see. So let's have a good look. So here is the uh, J-Hope card, or Hobie. Oh, hang on, it's got a little washi tape there. So here's the J-Hope card that I traded for. It's one of the Maple Soul cards. And I just think he looks super cute with his little peace pose. So I traded for him. And the freebies in here look like it might be gin, which is nice. So we have one of, we have gin. And then, oh, this is really cute. It's like a shot of him walking. That's lovely. Uh, my second trade that came in was um, from Australia as well. So they're all from Australia. So, I'm just gonna, yeah. so they sent, oh, they got a little freebie in. Cute. Very nice freebie. I like this. I always like stuff that's nice and like kind of themed by like colour and this is very blue, which is good. And oh, she's also sent, oh cool, look at this one. This is nice. This is actually a business card. So this is the k for Friends business card, which I think actually is really nice. Like it looks like a proper photo card, but it is for their business. Um, so she said, thank you for trading with me. Please let me know when Dina arrives. So just a little one there. So I'll just take the note off. And Dino! So for 17, I collect Dino and Hoshi. Uh, both are super cute. Both are very talented men. Um, so yeah, at the moment, I have like zero... Uh, Hoshi cards and like all Dino. <laughs> so Dino is my main bias anyway. So 
I don't mind that, but it's just funny that I've left a spot in the binder for Hoshi, but he has like no cards. <laughs> so. so, this is all stuck on here. Hopefully I'm not bending the card as I'm trying to get the tape off. You know, I'm just gonna cut the tape here. Because I don't like um, leaving long bits of tape off like that in case it actually sticks to the card when I take it out. So we have that and we have, oh, so he's in, he's one sleeved, two sleeved, three sleeved, wow. And he had a um, protective case, very nice, very safe. So thank you very much for that, I appreciate his safety. So this is from the uh, begin version of, of an ode. So I think this is photo card B for him or A. They look very, very similar. So that's really awesome. So I got him. And the last trade I've got here to open is, it came like this. And then when I saw the contents, I'm like, ah, now I remember why it's in a big one. So she wrote, hey, thanks so much for trading with me. I hope Dina arrives safely and stay safe. So obviously where I am at the moment, it's not very safe. We're in um, stage four lockdowns. So I'm just thankful that <laughs> I can still access the postman. So I won't be obviously trading or anything for a while because it's not really safe for us to go out. So the reason why it was so big is so I traded for this Dino card. So I'll just pull him out. Is he going to come out? <gasps> Are you going to come out? I think he's stuck. No, don't be stuck. I need you to come out. Yeah, for some reason, the PC is stuck. There we go. He got uh, the little bit of the um, bottom was stuck. Drop that off. Oh, lol, it was the other way. So here is Dino from also the begin version. So it was quite nice because the only version I have is the poet version and I only pulled one Dino from that. So this is the blonde Dino, which is very nice. But the lady was super, 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 so the person was super, super kind and decided to send me, oh, so stand by my side, a little sticker, very nice, um, the poet version Dino book. I'm sorry for the poor angle at the moment. I'm really trying to work out how to film in my space. So it's going to be a little bit cut off. So I do apologize, uh, which is nice because I pulled Vernon's one in the poet. So if I can, so it's all just photos of Dino, which is amazing. Oh, I like that shot. That's really pretty. Long shot. It's very pretty. But yeah, so it's a very thin one. But I thought she just offered to give it to me because she didn't want it, which I thought was super nice. So thank you so much. I love it. It's a great little photo book. So next we have the Zen Market packaging. I've already taken off the top, so you don't see my address or anything. That's the only reason why it's kind of looking a bit... So yeah, I've just adjusted the angle... So you can see the box contents a bit better. So yeah, this is only one CD in here. So I don't know why they packed it in such a like biggish, biggish because it's not really a big box. But for a CD, it's big. And there's more tape around the side. So, um, as I mentioned in my last segment, um, I love the Twice ID cards, so I bought three of them on Bayi. This one I wanted to open it up for myself. So it has just a little pamphlet on top, which is uh, the Zen Market uh, logo, and then like a little thank you thing. Um, 
I originally bought this first before the Bai. I bought it like maybe a week before and it's just come now, which was, was really annoying. So I found Zen Market was really slow on that side of things. Um, they're also a proxy server like Bai. Um, I liked Bai a lot more. Oh, this is chunky. Um, I liked Bai a lot more, but I felt that I couldn't find it on there. And I'd heard of Zen Market through other YouTubers and stuff. So I decided to go with them. But now that I've tried Bai and I really like the experience from Bai, I'll probably stick to them. So um, I have a believe this was from Yahoo Japan um, as part of the, obviously, because their market is just the like third party buyer or the proxy. So this is meant to be brand new unopened. So I think this was released in like 2017. Um, if I'm wrong with the date, I'll probably pop it up on the screen. So, plastic. So this is the hashtag uh, Twice album, which was a Japanese release, and it has 10 tracks. So I'll take the little shrink thing off first so you can have a look at the track list a bit better in the front. So there's the track list at the back, and there's the front again. So it looks sealed, like factory sealed. So I'm very excited to see who we pull. I really want to pull Momo because I have Sana's already. I bought that one in the Bai uh, 3 set that I got. And I'd like to pull Sana's non-ID card because you get two cards in this. So uh, it just slides out really nicely from there. And inside has all really pretty like print of the same as the back but it's in white and pink so then i have the oh they're right there i wanted to stay surprised hopefully you didn't see so you get to be surprised okay so this is the twice book i loved this concept so it's very hard because i have to flip the book around to the camera so I do apologize if the angles are a bit strange but yeah, it's such a pretty book I really really like this one though like with most photo books that we have I feel really odd um with the pages like I, I don't want to spread them too far in case I break it but yeah they're just, they're all stunning in in this in this era and concept I have a, a big thing for like pastels and like light concepts I think they're really really pretty I do like my dark concepts as well but I find a lot of time when they do oh it's Momo uh dark concepts uh, the photos are always very like murky or like to do with shadow so you don't really get to see the artists as much in Hisana <sighs> such a queen I love her she looks so good but yeah, so I'm just doing a very quick flick through for you. Um, obviously, because this is an older uh, Twice CD, you've probably already seen an in-depth review of this. So that's why I thought I'll just give you a very quick flick through in case you haven't seen it. There you go. Maybe I'll bring it a little bit closer now. But yeah, and like the pom-pom earrings and like the little cheerleader feel like, <laughs> so cute. But yeah, so, um, look so pretty love it I always like how they take group shots together I think they do that really well with twice 
Yeah. They just look so good together. They just look happy. This is what I like to see. And hopefully they are happy and not just putting it on the camera. Yeah. And there's the end of one. I skipped to two or three pages because they're all just screenshots. Okay. So this is the CD. I do like the fact the book is actually separate from the CD. And then if you open it up inside, it's just a very plain uh, pink CD. And then the back. Okay, let's see whose photo cards I got. Oh, I like in the base has actually got the same thing, but in blue. So they've got like the print three or four times, but all in different color swatches. So I did see who I got here. But I haven't seen who I got for the idea cards because I quickly swiped it away. So we're going to start with this one so we know who we got. We got Momo. Ah, oh, isn't she so cute? Oh, she looks great. This is a really nice set. I plan to collect OT9 for the idea cards and I'm very, very tempted to get OT9 for this set, but... I don't know, they're a lot of money. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do the idea card. So please be Momo. I've already used my Momo luck here, so I don't know if I'm gonna get a Momo. I just hope it's someone I don't have. And we got Chaeyoung. Now I can't actually remember if I have this one. <laughs> I'm such a bad twice then. Um yeah, so we got her. I found a lot of opening uh, box openings had Chae Young. Um, she maybe might be a more like easier ID card to get, but it's cool. I'm happy. I'm just very happy I got a Momo anyway. So, and I already had the Sana of this, so I wasn't gonna you know wish for a Sana. But yeah, but they're my two ID cards I got. So here is all that I got today in my haul. Um, I hope you really liked watching this video and I'll see you in the next part. Bye.